Richmond Public Schools friends and family. Today is week two, day two of our learning from home for science, kindergarten, first and second graders. So on Monday, we started talking about life cycle of a butterfly as well as metamorphosis. Today, we're gonna continue by reviewing those two topics as well as learn a little bit more as to why a butterfly is considered an insect. So first thing we need to do is go to our lesson plan sheet. So right here is our lesson plan sheet. We did Mondays already, so we're gonna go to Wednesdays. We're gonna click the butterfly review slash parts link. And when you get to this page, if it does not pop up or if it asks you to log in, then you will select the login button. In the username box, you will type R I C H M O N D K 2, no capitals. And then in the password box, you will type in the number 4 M E, the number 2. U S E and log in. Once you are logged in, you can start viewing the video and we'll view it now. So I'm going to make it full screen so we can see it nice and big. Let's see what you know. Check it out. It's a butterfly. Don't worry, Moby. It's not going to hurt you. What are butterflies? Remember we talked about Butterflies are a type of insect, like ants and beetles. Butterfly bodies have three main parts. The head, head. thorax, oh. and abdomen. abdomen. And like insects, they also have three pairs of legs and two antennas. And wings. Butterflies use their antennas to smell for food. They drink the nectar of different flowers. They have a special body part called a proboscis, which is like a long straw butterflies use to drink. How do butterflies stay safe? Butterflies have two pairs of wings that are covered in tiny scales. They can be really colorful and have cool patterns. Some butterflies use their bright colors to warn that they're poisonous. Other butterflies fool predators by looking like poisonous butterflies, even though they're not. Others use camouflage and hide in their environment to stay safe. Some butterflies have dark colors on one side, but when they open their wings, they're really colorful. This surprises predators and scares them away. Oh, I've seen that before. Cool, a caterpillar. How do butterflies grow? and change. Here we go, our life cycle. A life cycle describes how living things grow and change. Stop Adult life. female butterflies lay their eggs on leaves and other places. We start off with some eggs. Different butterflies lay their eggs on different plants. Many butterflies lay eggs on plants that will be food for their young. When an egg hatches, a larva crawls out. Step two. Right, Moby? The larva is called a caterpillar. Caterpillars can be colorful and have different patterns. Some caterpillars are even hairy. The caterpillar eats and eats to grow. It even sheds its skin as it gets bigger. Some caterpillars are really tiny, but others are really big. I would hate to run across that one. Then the caterpillar changes oh. into a pupa, which is also called a chrysalis. Chrysalis. Not all caterpillars spin cocoons. 
Some moth caterpillars spin a cocoon around them and turn into a pupa inside. But butterfly caterpillars do not make cocoons. Well, we're focused on. The pupa goes through metamorphosis. We've heard that word. It can take a few days or even a few weeks. During metamorphosis, the pupa grows wings and goes through other big changes to become an adult. Beautiful. Adult butterflies and moths look a lot different from caterpillars. So, let's think about those four stages of the butterfly's life cycle again. We had the first stage, egg. Second stage, larva or caterpillar, same thing. Step three, pupa. That's when it goes inside of the chrysalis. And then step four, turning into a beautiful butterfly. As you can probably tell, I love butterflies. So now that we have finished watching that little video and reviewing some information that we learned on Monday, as well as learning some new things about insect parts, hmm. let's go back to our learning lesson lesson plan and right here it has the vocabulary words on chrysalis it's the hardened body of a butterfly pupa which we've been talking about the entire time now we did just learn about this new word cocoon an external structure constructed by larvae to protect themselves during the pupa stage now remember that the butterflies that we are worried about they create a chrysalis, but there are some caterpillars that create cocoons. But keyword here, chrysalis. Say that word again, chrysalis. Good job, guys. So now that we have reviewed those, we're gonna go to our activity. Our activity says, draw what a butterfly looks like and try to label its parts. Use the video to help you. So if you need extra help, go right on back to that Brain Pop video and watch it again. Then it can help you with the parts of your butterfly to help you label it. So your butterfly label sheet, you click on it and then you let it pop up. And here is your parts of a butterfly and you would put your answers in these boxes. You make sure you download it, okay? And then you can print it off. And then you have the options for wings, abdomen, antennae, thorax, proboscis, and head. All of these we talked about and learned about in the Brain Pop video. Now, this is best used if you are able to print off the sheet. If you are unable to print off the sheet, then you can go back to Monday's lesson to the science workbook for week two and if you've already done the workbook from Monday then you would use this same workbook okay so I have mine already up and so in this workbook we're going to go to the life cycle of a butterfly you can use this sheet as well to fill in the blanks so you have step one step two step three, and step four. If you, once again, can't print, you can also come down here and use the day two sheet. And this sheet is a blank sheet that you can just draw, write, create, whatever you like. Or if you have no abilities to do this at home, just grab a sheet of paper and start drawing it yourself and labeling it yourself. You can use what um, came up from this particular activity in order to get the words so that you can label the parts of your butterfly correctly. Okay, so you've got your butterfly life cycle wonderfully completed and your parts done. So after you've completed the activity, you have other things that you can do if you'd like to learn a little bit more. So you can go outside if you're allowed 
and see what insects you can find and think about those different parts of the butterfly that qualify as an insect part. Pretty much everything except for the wings allow um, mean that all these other uh, insects outside, these other animals outside would be classified as an insect. Now you can also do insect senses. Now we all have senses. The five senses that we have, hearing, smelling, tasting, seeing, and touching. So with this insect senses sheet, you'll just be talking about how an insect uses its senses. The last sheet here is insects fill in the blank. So using those same terms that we just talked about with the insect parts and learning more about how insects use whatever they do. So just fun little add-ons that you can do when you have a little free time. So once you're finished with that, then you're done for the day. And you come back on Friday to complete the last task for the week. Thank you so much for joining me today and just taking the time to get a little bit better on learning about the life cycle of a butterfly. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much.